first textual saying that I am the light of this world. Uh, in the first, his first textual when he says, "Let there be light," and then he personifies the right. The writer personifies it and says that the the word was with God. So now the word is becoming a person, and then he says, "The word was God." Who is he talking about? What is he talking about? He's saying that the word that was spoken is not just any ordinary word, but it's the vehicle, it is the matter, it is, is, it is the, the parameter in which God was using to bring forth light into this world. And Jesus gets on the scene and he says that I am this very light of this world. Him who has me will have the light of life. The first, the book, first words of John are not any knowledge of John. There's a mystery behind it, a creation mystery and the revelatory mystery of the coming of Christ. Of the when he comes on the scene, for he says that I am the light of the world. Him who has me will have the what? The light of life. He claims I am three times the deity of Christ. He claims I am three times and then says, what is the revelation that Moses had? Tell them that the I am that I am has sent you. And Jesus comes and says that I am the light, I am the bread, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus Christ is the man God, the God man. He, the very deity of Christ is revealed in his very words. He's, this is why he says, my words are spirit and they are life. They are spirit and they are life. Jesus Christ is the son of man. He's both God. He's both this, uh, child. Uh, he's both God. But he, 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 that's why there's the triune God. There's God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He claims divinity when he speaks. He's claiming divinity. He's claiming that he is of God. He's claiming that he is God. He has authority. That's why he says that I have authority to lay down my, I have authority to lay down. I have authority to pick it up. This charge I've been given by my father. What is he talking about? He's talking about his life. His authority to give his life and authority and God has given the authority for him to come back to life. He's given him authority to come back to life. No one has authority to kill or to bring life, lest he be God. Jesus Christ is the Son of Man, and he's the Son of God. The reason why we say he's the Son of God is because he is the poor expressed image of God. The Bible says, I created man in the image of God. And in the image of God, I created them male. In the image of God, I created them female. What is that image? God cannot create without the image. He says, in the beginning was the, I created man in the image of God. And in the image of God, I created them male and female. The image was Christ. Jesus was there in the beginning creating with the Father. He was there. That's why the Bible says he is the word. And the Bible says this word took on flesh. That dwelt among us. It dwelt among us. He dwelt among us. This word. So that's why. Some, some people may believe that the word they have is the very word of God or is of God. But we have God that is the very man. He's, he's man. Not text. He's the word. He's using the word. But what? He is God. War, war, the God man, the man God, Jesus Christ. This is why you explain the deity of Christ, how God, how Jesus, some people explain, how can God have a son? How is Jesus both God and, and, and how is he both, both God and how is he both God and man? How can a man be God? Mother, it has to do with what comes out of your mouth. What are you saying? What are the very words you are saying? Jesus was claiming to be the divine, be divine, be, to be inspired of God. That's why the word says that in the beginning was the word, the word was word, with God, the word was with God. The word became flesh. The word became flesh. So that word of God has to come into being. It has to become a man. 
And that man came through the supernatural birth that comes with, with knowing Christ. That supernatural, when he was birth, born, born, or born into this world without the use of man, because he came into, he, he became, Mary was an immaculate conception. Mary was birthed through the child supernaturally. And they believed this. They believed this. But they don't know, they believe this. But they hold him to just be a man. Jesus Christ is the Son of Man, the Son of God, the deity of Christ. You believe this. This is very important to your life in Christ Jesus. This is very important to the mission of Christ. Because it is only God who has authority to give life. That is why the Son of Man can stand before the God Almighty and say that I, uh, I, 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 I stand before you and these are my people. They have received me. Because I said that I am the resurrection of the life. If you receive Jesus, you have received the resurrection of the life. So you can now have eternal life. He's the only one who stands before God, being clean, being spotless, and, and not a sinner. He stands as, as the Son of Man. He, God has designated him, the authority of Melchizedek, to be the priest, to stand before man and intercede. So that's why it is only through man. It is only through that name, Jesus, that you can be saved.